Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Intel version of the Lenovo ThinkBook 14G7. To remove the bottom plate of this laptop, you have to undo nine Phillips head screws. The ones on the top and the middle are captive. Pop the back in the zones close to the top two edges and the central screw. By doing so, you should fully pry the rear side. Then, simply pry the rest of the panel starting from the sides. You can peel the Mylar heat shield over the memory section. This notebook is equipped with the base 45 watt hour battery variant. For a longer autonomous life, you can get the optional 60 watt hour model. To take it out, unplug the connector from the motherboard and undo the five Phillips head screws that fix the unit to the chassis. Untangle the speaker cables around the battery housing. The capacity is enough for around 10 hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the battery saver preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the Lenovo Vantage app. The Wi-Fi card is placed in the top right section of the motherboard. According to Lenovo, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Storage-wise, there is a pair of M.2 slots compatible with 2242 or 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. Just like the 16-inch model of this laptop, the position of the pad below the NVMe isn't optimal. Still, this can be fixed in no time. The thermal system looks good for a 14-incher. It has a large fan, two long heat pipes, a sizable long top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader.